One of the tournaments where he really comes alive as, you know, loser's cake is after he gets sent to losers on day one, and then in day two, you know, makes all of those adjustments, comes back angry, and, you know, that's where he gets all of his power from. This time around, there's no losers to be had. There's no day two to be had. Cake's going all the way, and instead of, you know, the strength that we saw early on, he started, you know, with... You know, multi-stage rocket just starting to get stronger and stronger the later the day goes. It's incredible to see just how good he will, he's able to keep it going. Just not even missing really much of a step. Like, he lost maybe two stocks at most a game mm -hmm. versus Cheesy. And, I mean, we, we know the history between Cake and Penguin as well. As much as we want to say that, like, Penguin could also really put up a strong, solid fight, Cake definitely <laughs> makes that matchup look doomed. Yeah, like we said... Penguin doesn't really lose to other people. Cake loses to Penguin. Uh, sorry. Penguin loses to Cake. <laughs> Penguin loses to Cake. And that's like sort of the one, that used to be the one exception. Now we have a couple people that are uh, illustrious enough to sort mm -hmm. of be able to take out the big titan that is Penguin. As we see Cheesy Potato able to punch there, take it back into Grand Tier. Game one of Riptide 2024 Grand Finals for Rivals. Cake versus Cheesy, starting off on Jules Vale. Yeah, lots of full hopping with the rock for Cheesy, and it's just not going to work out for her. Kay's just going to throw the tilt boost in, going to throw in as much damage as possible, but offstage is not a great place to be. Not at all, especially against this Krag in particular. Like, we've seen just what Cheesy can do when given the opportunity. Yeah, and right there, you can see Cheesy just opting to get rid of that smoke, but it actually kind of biting her in the butt a little bit as the rock stopped her from getting a full-on punish on Cake. It kind of did, What? But the up strong just calling out a down air rebuttal. Uh, you know? Yeah, and also... Uh, your back rank checkmate kind of vibe. Yeah, I mean, Cheesy just kind of throwing moves out the moment that she has an opening there. And Cake just was not ready for that here. But once again, with the baby dashes, with the down tilts, and all of a sudden, Cake oh, starting no. to make a huge leap for himself. 100% practically unanswered off of a couple of really good baby dash movements to extend those combos. Yeah, but right there, just a small miss on that parry. But... Right now, another one of these parries comes on through, and the up strong for Cheesy Potato, not gonna connect. Insane. I don't think they were ready for that parry, and they just weren't, uh, they weren't in position to punish. Up strong gonna do it. Yeah, up strong for Cake gonna connect. It's strange to me that the one time that Cheesy goes for a parry punish that's not F strong, it misses. Yeah, curious how that works, you know? Yeah, I mean, sometimes that's exactly what we anticipate. But right here, Cheesy needs to anticipate the placement, and she does. All right, able to take that out. Only 66%. And on Crag, again, we've talked about it before. Big guy, not a, not really going to worry about, like, 60%. Because you can make that up just so fast. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, she's already in the lead as far as percent's concerned. But Kate is going to take that one right back here. Back air, not going to connect just quite. But... Just like that, Cheesy, now with the rock, has Cake off stage. Well, as soon as we say that, Cake is able to use the clone to get back on, but this is dangerous. Cheesy is going to be able to be alive with the pillar on the on the left side there. Yeah, and still has the pillar available. 183% on the crag, 104% on Cake Assault. And just like that, looking for the forward air, not going to get it. Oh, the clone to get back on the stage. The forward strong as well. The longest on range forward strong on the planet. Cake Assault with just the tip of the blade going to be able to take game number one away from Cheesy Potato. I love the ballsiness in that moment to teleport directly onto Cheesy as well, just to make sure, like, hey, if you're going to get me, you got to be able to tech this. you got to be able to know what you're going to do in this situation. Yeah, and just like that, we're also seeing a little bit more of that cognizance from Cake Assault, knowing that Cheesy wanted to use shards to get rid of that smoke, so he just runs forward and parries it. Absolutely, and right now we're seeing a oh, oh, no. big reversal. Oh, oh no, Paul. Yeah, we're seeing some old strats from ZB, but Cheesy going to be able to put a new, fresh a paint color of paint on there. And this edge guard is going to be going on for a while now. Uh-oh, no pillar right now. This is huge. 
Yeah, but able to sneak back on stage with that side B and all of a sudden take triple digits. But here is Air Armada. The double dunkskis never fails. Cake Assault swiping the lead right back from Cheesy. Yeah, and we were saying that it doesn't matter if Krag's at triple digits. Right now, it seems like it doesn't matter if Forsburn is, because you have more than one Forsburn to split that percent across. That's but, true. I mean, two feet to the face, and there goes the stock. Yeah, just drop kick real quick for the fans. Good right. parry on the teleport, gets the forward strong just to knock back off stage. Oh, good parry on the teleport again, just being fully aware of it. Yeah, and looking to sneak back on stage, has all his resources depleted. And just like that, Cheesy in a good position, looking to get that parry punish. You see, this is where Cake shines. Getting back on the stage against a, against a solid of an edge guarder like Cheesy Potato. Yeah, but up air going to be able to do it. No jumps on the planet are going to save you from that one. Aramata still such close blast zones on the top. Uh, looks like Cake is answering back in a big way right now. But as soon as I say that, Cheesy able to retaliate 50% real quick. Yeah, 50% super, super quickly here, but no resources for Cake. Cheesy side being off the stage here, and all of a sudden, this could be huge. Looking for the jab, looking for the fair, not going to be able to get it just yet. So then up there, one more hit is going to seal the deal here, but... Oh no, bad RNG. Yeah, I mean, Cake wants that up strong, not quite going to be able to get it, but no air dodge, and there it is. Up strong coming in for Cheesy Potato, this time not going to be whiffing. Not whiffing at all, and sealing out game two in their favor. Cheesy's on the board. Already a much better showing than what Winner's Finals was, showing that she's got the adaptations. She's got the edge guarding locked down. She is ready to show that she is here for business, and she wants the gold medal. Yeah, and right now, you can see Cake opting to take her to Trouble Pond. So much more space on those side platforms to mix up those recoveries. I mean, she was just rinse repeating him on repeat on Aramata. That's true, and, that, and then again, like you mentioned, that's because of the fact that the top platform, oh, the, oh my god, off the top off that up air. Good yeah, we were talking about the top platform. What about the top blast zone? It seems so much closer than oh, I, any I of us expected. I, we, we might be going to the side blast zone next. I don't know what's going on over here. Yeah, Cake taking Cheesy around the world, just every single spot on this stage. Nothing seems to be safe. Mid platforms, top platforms, Cake is using all of them to show that, like, okay, this is what happens when you let me pick a stage with platforms. All right, you, you had fun on Aramata. It was cute, only top plats, hee hee, but uh, let's let's play you. Let's play on a safe that I like. Yeah, so in right the now. meantime, a one opportunity for Cheesy Potato turns into a potential kill on Cake here, even hops off stage onto the pillar to try to continue it. All right, Cake Assault continuing to try to get on past. What an anti-air with that down strong. And another read from Cake to get that parry here. And speaking of reads. Speaking of reads, I mean, just do it right back, you know? If you're going to down strong me when I try and go to the top platform, I'm just going to up strong you right back when you do it. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to be read on read oh on my read. God. But can you read dare? Oh, my God. Four in a row. A quick 48%. Yeah, but right now, another one of those repeat edge Almost guards down the wall. from Cheesy. Oh, and this is huge. There's so little ways how to get past this as Horsburn here. And Cake right now in a lot of trouble. Up air's not going to kill just yet. And that, that is where we've seen Cheesy really shine. It's in those edge guards, those rinse repeat situations that really force. Force went into really tough spots, but Down Strong's gonna do it, and potential game three last stock right now. Whoever wins is gonna have a pretty big advantage. Yeah, I mean, whoever wins this has so much power on the oh my counter pick. Oh my god! It's gonna be cake. It's gonna be cake. The way that combo went, up cape into, what was that, forward air into down air? Honestly, change this man's tag to Cake Assault and Battery because that is just not okay. That was messed up. I don't think I've seen any Forsman do a combo like that ever. I don't even think I've seen Cake do that. 
Yeah, I mean, Nan's always finding extra ways to just do more damage and just show us new fun things, but I gotta say, I love Rivals of Ether. There's just always so much more to see. Yeah, there's so much more to be played with a game as fantastic and fast-paced as this. And now, Kikos is showing that as he is on potential tournament point right now. Yeah, but Invincible Tech Nairs from Cheesy going to be doing just fine. Another one of those patented Forge Strongs going to put Cake off stage. All right, manages to get back, but took 107% for all the work. Yeah, and there we go. Once again, Cheesy off stage, exactly where she wants to be. All right, see what happens here. Manages to get caught on stage but gets caught by the forward strong from Cake, and that is gonna do it for the first stock. Yeah, and Cake holding on to the triple consume here. The question is, what does he want to use all these charges for? Part of me thinks, oh, maybe it's gonna be for like a fun little combust combo, maybe. Oh, oh there it is, off the top. Fun for who? Definitely for Cake, but not for Cheesy. We uh -oh. saw this in winner's finals. Cake decided that it's time for his turn on the Xbox. It is single player game time. Oh uh, yeah, I'm invincible. Your forward strong's not gonna work there. Anyway, down air. Oh, gets a downer of their own. Yeah, and now Cheesy 100% on the crag. Final stock potentially here. And all of a sudden, jab down strong for Cheesy Potato. Gonna be able to put herself on the board, but Kate calling her away from the rock. Coming into the corner and getting the down strong, and that's gonna do it. Cake Assault is your Riptide 2024 champion. We have not had.